Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, welcome to the Chi Show. I'm Chi, bringing you some gaming news and stuff. Don't got a whole lot of stuff to talk about, just a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Let's start with some quick news, first being that Terraria is set to hit mobile platforms, though we're not sure which mobile platforms. I'm pretty certain that it will hit for iOS and Android, though. Got a couple E3 teasers, first being that Kojima Productions will be revealing something, probably the new Metal Gear Solid game. The other thing being an interesting mashup that EA teased for E3 and that is Grass Effect. So look forward to hearing more about Grass Effect soon. Square Enix released a new Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn trailer that you can check out in a link below that shows off some of the jobs. Also the third wave of the beta will be hitting out on June 14th and will be PS3 and uh, PC beta. So. Look forward to that one if you are signed up. You should be able to get in automatically too if you had a Final Fantasy XIV account. A Mirror's Edge 2 help page was discovered on EA's website. Look forward to hearing more about Mirror's Edge 2, hopefully. Got a rumor that Prey 2 is actually right now in the hands of the Dishonored team. Got information for a Crisis 3 DLC. This is the Lost Island multiplayer pack. It will go for $14.99 and will hit June 4th. This DLC comes with four maps, two modes, and a whole bunch more weapons for you to kill your friends with. We previously talked about EA not doing online passes anymore. In fact, they are so committed to not doing online passes that they are retroactively removing online passes from all games that have them now, and all content given through online passes will be free. I got two links for you guys to check out, first being a 5 trailer down below and some description of the content of the trailer. The trailer shows off new trade route system and everything and it looks really good if you're a big fan of Civ or those style of games definitely check that one out. The other one is from the Remember Me creative director talking about the evolution of the character so definitely check that one out especially if you're into character design and all that good stuff. On to some real quick Nintendo news first being that new Super Mario Bros. U will get pro controller support and an upcoming update. Also there will be a Luigi themed 3DS XL to hit Japan July 18th that will come in a pack that will also come with an SD card that has uh, Mario Luigi Dream Team on it. Last bit of Nintendo news is Wii U hardware talk. First there's going to be a new white 32 gigabyte Wii U system to uh, check out at least in Japan. In addition to that they're also increasing the size of the battery for the gamepad so you will get pretty much double the life expectancy so instead of three to four hours you'll actually be able to get eight hours of play with the gamepad so that's really good because the gamepad's battery was really short now onto some microsoft news first bit being that major nelson said that he's compiling a list from microsoft people of answers to questions that we still have after the event questions such as the drm system for used games or the not always online but i have to be online once every so many hours or whatever so Hopefully, we'll get those answers pretty quick. Now on to some Sony news. First being that Kaz Arrive did an interview, two interviews actually, one being at a conference and the other one being with the CNBC. At the conference, he actually talked about the PS4 being focused on games and how entertainment apps will come after the console is secured as a video game platform. The CNBC interview, I actually have a link below. You can check out his exact quote where he talks about the PlayStation 4 and its focus on games and all that good stuff as opposed to Microsoft's focus on entertainment as a whole. So definitely check that one out if you're interested in that. In other Sony news, we recently talked about how one of their shareholders suggested that Sony split its entertainment and electronics and either sell off its uh, entertainment or do an IPO and all that good stuff. And it looks like Sony m may be thinking about it, at least from the fact that they've actually hired Citibank and Morgan Stanley to look into the prospects. So that is a possibility that could happen uh, within Sony. They could end up splitting the company, which personally I believe is not a great idea. Last couple things to talk about. First one being for RPG people, Tales of Zillia Limited Edition, $60. It, uh, if you pre-ordered and you're at a, a participating retailer, your pre-order will actually upgrade to the Limited Edition automatically and everything. The Limited Edition will come with a game, character profile book, music CD, all that good stuff. In addition to that, we'll come with two downloadable costumes, I believe, and you'll get all this on August 6th. The last thing to talk about is Razer's 14-inch uh, gaming notebook. It's actually a really small, more MacBook-style gaming uh, laptop to check out for those of you interested in being able to game on the go. The price tag is a little steep at $1,800. What you'll get for that $1,800 is a future 4th-gen intel core processor 
which is fancy talk for a Haswell based processor. You also get 8 gigs of RAM, an SSD with a variable size depending on what you pick, which will influence the price. And you'll also have a GeForce GTX 765M uh, graphics uh, chipset inside your tiny laptop. Now the battery life is not that great. You're looking at around 6 hours battery life, but it's supposed to have a really awesome Wi-Fi uh, connector and everything. So if you're really big into the gaming on the go and you really want a sharp, nice new laptop, definitely check that one out. Personally for me, the price is a little bit too steep for what you're getting. The last thing I'm going to talk about is Take-Two CEO talking about a whole bunch of things. The first part being tablets uh, craze lately and how he thinks that tablets will eventually be on the level with PCs as far as you know, gaming and everything. And he also talked about the quote Xbox One's use game fee and saying that if Microsoft's getting paid like that, you know, publishers should get paid too. So they should get part of it. But he also, to kind of counterbalance that part, because I'm sure that part alone would make a lot of people angry, he did go on to say though that to counteract the used game market, developers and publishers should really do stuff to delight the gamer, like downloadable content not long after the game is, uh, comes out because that's the highest likelihood the game will get traded in is about four weeks after the game comes out. And that's pretty much all I have for today. You guys can check out previous news videos over here. Check out Chrono and myself play some games. I keep saying we're going to do some more. We are going to do some more. We'll have some more up for you soon. You can also click down here to hit the like button and subscribe, which is greatly appreciated. And you can also let me know what you think about what Take Two CEO said about the used game thing or how you feel about any of the stories covered. And I will see you guys next time.